What's going on everyone? Jake here again. Currently on the road, as I'm sure you can see. Um, right now I'm going to pick up my trailer, my car trailer. Uh, because I was scrolling through uh, Facebook Marketplace this morning, as I do quite a bit. That's where I get most of my business, is Marketplace. Um, anyways, you know, I've been doing a lot with, you know, scrap. I do a lot of scrap cars. I just don't ever film any of it, but... Anyway, so I'm scrolling through and I see this a picture of this old car peeking out of, you know, like a bunch of weeds, like shoved back in the trees or whatever. And it says it's a 1947 Crosley wagon. This little, this little old thing. And uh, the guy, you know, he's got it marked, you know, free, zero dollars free. He's like, move, getting ready to move out, need the car gone, you know, wanted to give it to somebody see if somebody could do anything with it other than you know just taking it to the scrapyard so I mean you know I like to save you know old classic cars and stuff if I can um, but anyways I'm going to get my trailer I made a deal with the guy so I'm going to get my trailer and I'm, I'm headed to try and dig it out of the, the, the woods here or wherever it is um, like I say it's a, and, you know all for free don't have to pay him anything for it just my time and fuel um, yeah, so probably what I'll do, I mean, I'll, uh, usually what I do with stuff like this is I'll post it, I'll, I'll, uh, you know, I'll post it up on, uh, on Marketplace there and see, you know, if any, if there's any interest in it, if I can try and sell it to somebody, save it from going to the scrapyard, and then, you know, if not, then I end up, you know, I'll scrap it myself. Um, but like I said, I, I like to save them if I can. But anyways, so yeah, um, I'll pick back up here in a little bit. All right, so we just arrived on the scene here. And here it is. Looks like it's been smashed in in the front. So I already looked at it a little bit, looked it over. We have rear wheels, but we don't have front wheels. Um, but usually what I do in that situation is I've got two floor jacks. So I'll put a floor jack on each side and get the whole front end lifted up and then I'll back under it. And then once I'm at that point, I'm able to put the ramps out and then I'll put a jack in the front up on the trailer deck and winch it right up on. So hopefully we can do that and do it somewhat easily. I think there is an engine in it. Yep, tiny little guy. Pretty neat little car, but definitely has seen a lot better days. So I don't know if anyone could do anything with this or not. Maybe, maybe could use the body for a rat rod project. I am not sure, but so I'm going to get started on getting it on my trailer. Okay, so that I shouldn't take too long, but. I was able to, with my other, my bigger, nicer jack, I was actually able to lift up on this fender and get the frame rail up enough that I could get the jack under it. And I was able to lift it up over here and get this out of the ground. And then I stacked uh, my four by fours on top of each other to keep it up off the ground. And then I did the same on the other side. And I was able to get both jacks underneath the rear frame rail and get it up high enough that now I should be able to back under it, no problem. Okay, so I was able to get it up high enough and get the trailer under it. So, got this ramp under. This wheel is locked up. The one on the other side is actually turning. Um, let's keep going with it here. have to move my winch cable over here so it pulls it that way. Oh, unless I can move it like that. It's coming right on, no problem. Actually, maybe this one is spinning. Oh, that one is turning now. I thought that one was sliding. So they are both freed up. It's pretty amazing for however long this thing has sat here. Yeah. 
And just like that, we're on. Center probably about there. So that's all the most of the weights over the wheels. And there it is. I don't know how long it's been sitting in this certain location, but the license plate is from 59. So that's pretty wild. But pretty cool little thing. But like I say, I don't know any of it's salvageable. I don't know if anyone, you know, could do anything with this body and try and do a, like a rat rod build with it or not, but either way, if I can save it from going to the crusher, I, I will do my best. Alright, I'm going to clean up and get headed out of here. Alright, so it's a couple days later, guys. Uh, as you can see, the Cresley is no longer on the trailer. And that's because I actually sold it to somebody today, which I was actually pretty surprised. I, unless I wanted to save it from scrapping it, um, so I threw it up on Facebook for 300 bucks, and I actually got quite a few people who were interested in it. And uh, I had a younger, younger guy come and buy it off me today. He wants to get it running and do something with it, so it's pretty exciting. Uh, but also the other day. I picked this up. It is a, I believe, a 1980 TS 185. I don't know for sure that that it's a 185. I'm not sure how you tell the engine size. But anyways, how I ended up with this is I had just got back home from getting the Crosley, and I'd sat down and jumped on uh, Facebook there, and somebody had listed this in uh, in my town. Just you know. Uh, just outside of town a little bit but uh you know about about 20 30 minutes anyway they had had it listed on there for free they'd been listed for listed for eight minutes and uh so of course i messaged them right away and they said yeah come get it give me the address so i went back out the door and took off to to pick this up now the guy had told me when i got there he had the carburetor pulled off of it and I was like, oh, what's it just needs carb rebuilt or what? He goes, oh, I don't know. I, you know, I had it running a year or two ago and, uh, you know, I went to start it this year and it just won't start. I think it doesn't, you know, it, it doesn't have compression, I think. So, you know, I picked, it's got a Kickstarter on this side. And, uh, so I, you know, pushed it and it had compression. So I was like, hmm, okay. So I loaded it up and brought it home. I pulled the carburetor apart since it was already pulled off of the engine. Uh, tore it all apart, cleaned it all up really good. The uh, the needle was sticking real bad, so I got it cleaned up and moving with the floats. And uh, I put it all back on here, and it already had gas in the tank. Then it fired right up. It, and it runs okay. It doesn't run the best, um, but it does run. So, but it's in all right shape. I mean, obviously not the greatest. It is pretty old. Um, but, you know, it's decent, especially, you know, for free, definitely can't complain for free, but anyway, yeah, that's going to be it for this one, guys, uh, let me know what you think of the old Crosley and, uh, the free dirt bike, and of course, you know, hit that like button if you enjoyed it, and don't forget to subscribe, and have a good one.